Anyway, just thought I'd take you outside for a bit. So I'll turn around and it's pretty cold out here. I was starting to try to show my dress, but I probably have to try to do it inside. Anyway, it's very cold. It's like a winter wonderland out here. So I will see you inside in a few minutes. Hi everybody, Happy New Year! I'm Nancy and welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to my weekly vlog, Coffee, Tea, Wine, and Life. Right now I've got coffee and I am loving my coffee, so cheers everybody! Ah, so good. So I hope everyone is excited as I am to kick 2020 to the curb and welcome 2021 with all kinds of hopes and dreams and wishes of a normal life. Not anything wild and crazy. I'm not wishing for a million bucks. I mean, I would take it if it came, but just wishing for life to go back to normal. That's what I want. Just uh, nobody be, to be sick um, from this and nobody arguing over, is it real? Is it not real? I think if you were, you're in the front lines, you know it's real. So I don't know how to get that across to other people, but hopefully help was on the way and we don't have to worry about that. But anyway, I am wearing another, and you probably can tell Nancy, what the heck are you wearing today? So yeah, so I got another ugly Christmas dress in. I actually ordered this one a while ago and it came in yesterday. And so I think today's like a holiday because it's New Year's Day, so that's a holiday. And it's kind of like the end of the Christmas season as we start going into something new. So I think technically today is the last day that you can wear ugly Christmas sweater dresses without people committing you. That's what I think anyway. That's my excuse if they, I hear somebody come to the door. It's a holiday. It's allowed. But anyway, so I got this one from Belk and I, yeah, I wish we had a Belk around us, but yes, yeah, so I, I got a couple of things that I've ordered to them and yeah I'm really having good luck with everything that I've got even these earrings are here are from bulk and I figured if they didn't wear with this I could wear them on Valentine's Day or any time I wear something red but anyway so this dress has got this like this pretend sweetheart neckline it's got these buttons that look like little peppermint disc candies um we got like these candy cane striped sleeves and believe it or not um yeah so I'm gonna stand up so you got this empire waist with this black bow. We got this netting, this towel over the sweater dress. And I even had matching nylons. I didn't even have to go shopping for these. I had these nylons already from another costume a few years ago. And I had these boot covers. And it was my, my go-go boots. Yeah, so I was all set for this dress. I just wasn't sure about the hat. I should probably have worn my New Year's Eve hat, but I thought the red looked better with it. So, yeah, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. But anyway, so, yeah, we made it. I hope um, that if you were able to celebrate uh, New Year's Eve last night with your friends, your loved ones, your family, I hope you had a great time, uh, whether you did it through, you were face-to-face, -face, like in real life, or if you were on a Zoom chat, or if you were on, like, Facebook Messenger, or chatting, or just over the phone. I just think it's so important to just let those those people that you love, let them know how much you love them and how much they mean to you. And yeah, it's such a, a great feeling to just say, hey, happy new year. Yeah, that's, that's fun. And then last night too. So I, anyway, I dressed up. I had no place to go. I was sitting right here in this exact same spot. And yeah, so I brought out a dress that I wore to a Christmas party in 1999. And yeah, I just felt festive and fun and alive. So, you know, whether I look like a jerk or not, just sitting here all dressed up, I, you know, I don't care. It felt nice to pretend I was going to go out someplace. 
Yeah. And and it was I really did. I had a place to go. I was right here chatting to you guys. Yeah, I mean it was perfect and safe. And that's important. But anyway, for this year I hope um uh, I, I don't know what to hope. Um, I think I just want life to go back to normal. I want this COVID to go away. I want people to start getting well. I want this to stop spreading. I want everybody to be able to go back to work and being able to go out to eat with their friends or getting to travel to go see their family. And yeah, so that's all I want. I just want life to go back to normal. I think that's a, an okay wish, right? And um, yeah, so I will probably just kind of come on here and there during the week. I've got some unboxings as you can see to go. Yeah, I've got some giveaways. So I, I did, um, last night I did um, the brush set that I wanted from Jean Louise. So she is really an awesome lady. I love uh, watching her videos and just kind of look forward to listening to her laugh. She is just just an amazing woman and I've got boxes over here my giveaways so that I've got from Mary Catherine loves cats I've got one from Jess Nina and one from Kimmy's boxes they are all amazing ladies and I just cannot wait to open their boxes and I've got what I've got a Scentsy mystery box I've got hoodies that I've got to open I've got my Ipsy glam bag I've got my boxy lux I've got confetti I forgot what else I've got but yeah, I gotta get cracking. I didn't want to bombard everybody during Vlogmas to be able to, you know, kind of squeeze these in. And I just felt like I was going to be bombarding people with a video. And now, even though I put it off, it's, yeah, I'm still going to be bombarding you. So I, I'm sorry about that. But anyway, I hope everybody goes out and has a fantastic week. And we will chat again soon. Happy New Year, everybody. We'll chat soon. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Hi everybody, welcome back. I haven't been on for a few days. So anyway, it is Thursday or commonly known as Friday Eve. And we are on the way to finishing our first five full days of work since the uh, Christmas holidays. I have got the best coffee right here. I, I have no idea how I did not know about this box, but I am loving it. I'll take a quick sip and tell you all about it. Oh my gosh, this is so good. So the one that I'm having right now is called Raspberry Rum Ball. And there is no rum in it, but it's just got a really sweet raspberry and a little bit of like a hint of like a rum flavor. And it is so, so good. You can just smelling it is like so sweet. So I'm really loving these coffees and I've had a different flavor of coffee every night. I'll come home and I'll just have a regular cup of coffee and then I'll have something to eat. And then as I'm starting to get kind of tired and kind of hungry, I'll grab one of these flavored coffees. And because it's so sweet, it kind of gets rid of that craving to go and make some cookies or go running out to the store to buy some cookies or something. So kind of, it, it's helping with that craving, just having the sweet and it's, yeah, I just love it because I love coffee too. So if you didn't see um, what it is, I've got this perk box from Smart Sips. And it's a, I'm getting it as a monthly subscription, but you can just get it as a one-time only thing. You can buy these to give us gifts. They have other kind of items that you can get. But I got the one that was a mix up of coffee and like cappuccino latte type things. And this one is really good. I also bought another one that was the uh, liquor flavored ones. And today, yeah, sometimes I just get out of control. So today I ordered just the regular decaf coffees to get like a sample every every month. And uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to some decafs. And I went on my Kerrig site because I had that set up to be like every, every four weeks that I get like um, four different kinds of regular coffees. So I actually slim that down a little bit and I pushed it out to like 11 weeks and that will give me a time to kind of put these in and see which ones I want to go to but you know when I opened this box the other night I didn't even notice but they threw in some freebies for me some samples so they sent this one which is frosted gingerbread cookie I think it wants my hand there to focus frosted gingerbread cookie and that sounds really good doesn't it and then this one is cinnamon sugar cookie 
and again it's smart sips and I'll leave their information but the ones that I've had the other nights that I didn't get to come on and tell you about it I had this brown sugar bourbon oh my god this is so good and this because it's been used it may not focus right but brown sugar bourbon so so good this was banana cream latte I just had this one last night and you would think it kind of sounds kind of disgusting kind of ooh, I don't want that but it was it was good it was let me see if I can put it up the right way so it was banana cream latte just a really nice sweet little treat this one Oh, this was good too. This was almond cookie cappuccino. And this last one. This one um, wasn't really one of my favorites. So this was chocolate amaretto. But it was a little too chocolatey for me because I'm not really like a real coffee fan. So I, I do have some more of these that because it, you know, comes in a couple of ones. So I'll probably make it the next time I make it, I will put it on the... Uh, the largest setting so it will have more water maybe to kind of dilute that chocolate flavor a bit and maybe put in some more cream or something heat up some cream to get it in there but yeah I am really loving that subscription so that's going to keep me going for a while and I just want to before I close I just wanted to let you know that I finally opened my December Hooties mystery box and it was just another really 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 fun box here with some nice really cute bath bombs and some soaps and some homing hand soap and yeah just really really cute love this uh tomorrow i believe the january mystery box will go on sale so i'm hoping that my friend reminds me in time before it sells out because sometimes it, it might be there a couple of days and sometimes it just kind of sells out in a few hours but anyway i wanted to pop on quick give you an update on my uh, perk box and let you know about the hoodies and yeah so i'm going to finish my coffee and relax and i hope everyone goes out has a great friday and just as always i enjoy chit chatting and talking with you a little bit every night so we will talk again tomorrow bye, -bye everyone hi everybody happy friday can you believe we made it through our first five day work week i i really seriously started to have my doubts earlier today but anyway, cheers everyone. I have got a new copy tonight. Tonight I have got my cinnamon sugar cookie from my Smart Sips, my perk box. It was actually one of the free samples that they sent me. It is like drinking a snickerdoodle cookie. And if you've had to have a, a snickerdoodle cookie, you know how good it is. So just a really, really good cup of coffee. So uh, just a really relaxing come home and have a cup of coffee so anyway today we had um it was it was cold and foggy this morning and um beginning of this week we had that hoar frost that was on the trees so that white kind of frost that just kind of crystallizes on the trees here and then usually as the sun gets up usually by noon time it goes away uh sun never came out today it was foggy and just white white clouds and sky all day and so that frost never disappeared and even coming home tonight um, as my um, headlights would hit the trees coming home, you could see that frost still, and it was so, so pretty. I pulled over, and I got out my camera, uh, my, my cell phone, to try to take a video of it, but it just wasn't, it's not that great a camera to uh, get that detail, but it was really, really pretty. So I just made for a nice ride home, just kind of looking up at the uh, crystallized trees, and just very, very pretty and let's see so yeah so just finishing my vlog so i'm going to try to keep it short and sweet um i did do the hoodies uh last night the uh december mystery box i finally got around to doing that and today the D january one did come out and um and, you know and, and there was the change that she was saying that she was going to be doing so it's still the 22 dollars, but there is a shipping on it and of course you know sales taxes on your shipping as well now so um, for me, with the shipping and the sales tax, it came to about $10 more. So it's going to be about $31, $32. So for me, it's still worth it. I mean, did I love, love the $22? Yeah, I did. But do I want a small business to go out of business because she's trying to give everybody free shipping? No, I, I don't want that on my conscience. And, you know, I know these big companies, I mean, we get, we're just really getting used to free shipping. But large companies... They get incredible rates. Um, first, they get incredible rates on all their products that they sell. So they can sell it at a discount and still make 
make money and you know maybe it cost us ten dollars to ship something but a big company maybe it cost them two dollars so you know so you can see how they can do that for free um, but for a small company it's really really hard so I still want to give foodies my business um, I think that that shipping is is fair it's a fair price for what you get I mean I ship little uh, as companies spend you know couple hundred thousand dollars and I send them a little Yeti cup with our insignia on it and for something across town it cost me ten dollars to ship this little cup so yeah I, I know shipping is expensive and you know because we don't ship a lot we don't get incredible rates so I'm sure that uh, Brittany at Hooties doesn't get those rates either so I am happy to be supporting her and I did get my uh, January mystery box ordered today so thank you Alexa for reminding me so anyway, we're going to have another sip of this coffee. It is so good. And I think that's about it. Um, I got my boxy charm in today. Um, of course, I still got the boxy Lux from December that I haven't opened yet. And one of my items was broken, and so they are replacing that. And I, I thought I might have it in by now so that I can try to get that filmed in. I'm, so I don't know if I'm going to do them together or do them separate. But anyway, I'll probably try to do a little bit of filming this weekend and still try to, um, I, I was going to go into work tomorrow, but you know, I just don't feel like it. I worked till nine o'clock tonight. I think I, I've worked enough hours this week. So anyway, I'm going to try to really do some work on YouTube this week. I was going to try to start putting the de decorations away, but for me, I, I want to get kind of caught up on YouTube first. So not all the way, but that's, that's my goal. I want to get a little bit better at, uh, responding to people. So anyway, I am going to enjoy my coffee and then I'll probably have another cup. And so anyway, we will chat again tomorrow, everyone. I hope you go out and have a fantastic weekend and thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.